And even just by being a follower or being like someone, you can be considered like being their father. Like, the, you know, the, the, the person that you're following could be considered the father. And being born of God, being a child of God, then God can be your father, right? And we know this. But look at what Jesus says in John 8, verse 37. The Bible reads, I know that you're Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. So he's ascribing the person who's really their father with the works that they're doing. Well, are you doing the works of your father? You're not doing the works of Abraham. You're not, you're not living like Abraham. You're not being or acting like Abraham. So how could you call Abraham your father? And he's saying, I know physically that you're a seed. Like, I know that. But you're not doing the works of Abraham, which means Abraham's not really your father. I mean, this is, this is what he's telling his people. So if you're doing the works of Christ, if you're a disciple of Christ, if you're a Christian and following Jesus, then why couldn't Jesus be considered your father? You're doing the works of your father, right? Just, like, just as Jesus did the works of his father. It's, it's just another way to look at this. How could he be called a father? How could he be called? Because he can be. Because there's many ways that you can be called a father and be known, and his name can be everlasting father, without being God the father. Verse 40 says, But ye seek now to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they unto him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And then jump down to verse number 58, because this is what Jesus said. They got him mad. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. So you call Jesus a father in the sense of people following him and doing the works of him. And here, how about the everlasting part? I am. I am that I am. And we're born again. How about this? We're born again through the word of God. Isn't that the seed that needs to be sown that, that brings that new life and brings that new man and brings that new creature in your heart that makes you a child of God? The word of God is the seed that's sown in your heart. Well, who is the word? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So can we maybe call Jesus a father in that sense? I don't see why not. You can call Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the God the Father, Father. They all have the same attribute in our salvation. They all play a part in our salvation. They're all necessary because it's all God because God's necessary for our salvation. So when you're begotten, when you're born again, God is our Father, our spiritual Father. God. You mean God the Father? Yep. You mean God the Son? Yep. You mean God the Holy Ghost? Yep. God. Is our Father. So that same God that's born and becomes a man, Jesus Christ, can also be called an everlasting Father without being the same as the other person, one of the other persons of the Trinity, God the Father. Does that make sense? Now, all of that said, to just give plenty of reasonable understandings or interpretations of this verse that are not just saying that Jesus Christ is God the Father. Okay? 